Hi, how's it going, guys? Good to see you guys. We are doing a little bit of nostalgia today. Really, really fun game. Um, I'm loving this stuff, man. It's it's cool. It's definitely like deep, deep, deep stuff, um, and. Uh, it definitely appeals to a certain audience. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Uh, I am expecting a package, so I might have to jump out of the stream really quick um, in the middle of it, something like that. But uh, that will happen when the time comes, I suppose. Wait for a few more people to get here before we actually start officially. Yeah, it is on Steam. Okay, so here we go. Also some really good music in this game. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm a little worried about what we're going to get for the music, but we'll try to ignore it for now, and hopefully things will run smoothly. Um, I'm going to start in the DDR, the German Democratic Republic, and I'm turning on all of the Western propaganda, party dari, pressure from Moscow to, to be able to unlock achievements and to have, uh, I guess, a kind of a cooler time. Okay. So right off the bat, um, one really cool thing, aspect of the game, I, I have played a little bit, is um, we have, of course, the central, the politics here. Right now, Honecker is in charge. Um, Stolf is um, sort of the secondary leader, I suppose. Um, what we want to focus on now is our economy. So each city um, or you know parts of our capital are going to have buildings here that we can actually purchase to improve certain things. So for instance, right now the support of the people is zero. Um, well, it's nine, it's ninety, but it's not growing. And Westalgia is also not growing. Westalgia is the desire for us to basically you know um, join West Germany and get rid of communism. So we want to try and stop both of those from progressing. And we also want to keep our unity of the party up here pretty good as well. Um, I want to take a look here. And right now I want to work on actually making some money. That's going to be the most important thing right now. Uh, industry, pretty cool, but it's also going to add to nostalgia. Um, and we have to watch our money here because we don't want to spend too much or else we won't be able to basically build anything else. I like this one. Standard of living will go up with the uh, agricultural establishment, sort of a co-op. So we'll put one of those up as well. Now we continue. And of course, at this point, uh, certain events are going to happen that we need to respond to. So I'm going to take a look here of an event in France. Fight against chemical weapons. A conference on chemical weapons begins in Paris. Representatives of 149 countries are ready to sign a declaration banning the use of poison gases, chemical and bacteriological weapons. The Soviet Union is also ready to sign the declaration and wants us to sign it too. So we are basically the Soviet's puppets. We're going to sign it, of course. Um, and supporting this initiative, our country signed a declaration and began the gradual destruction of existing stockpiles of chemical and bacteriological weapons. So the Soviets and, this, and the USA were both happy. And we also have to keep the approval from the USSR up or else they could overthrow us. So there's a lot of different enemies here. Liberalization of the film industry. Should we allow Western film to come here? No. We'll never betray uh, socialist art. And that's going to hurt some of our relationship with the people, but... I think we need to stand firm on this one. So this is really cool. Since the beginning of last year, the composition of the organization Combat Groups of the Working Class created to protect the socialist system, according to the reports of the Stasi, Stasi are the secret police, has become subject to the process of demoralization. Cases of evasion from orders became more frequent. There were cases of leaving the organization and literally around the corner celebration of the 40th anniversary of the GDR. What should be done in this situation? We can disband this organization and create a smaller but active and out of trusted comrades. However, you can also always order the Stasi to begin the execution of their direct duties. In other words, order the Stasi to kill these guys. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to dissolve them and create smaller assistant groups of the people's police. Our decision definitely allowed us to stop fearing a blow in the back, but the new assistance groups will unlikely be able to help us in case of an emergency. That means if the people rise up, but right now our relationship with the people is, is not bad, honestly. Keep on going. 
Now, we could also fund wars in other countries um, for our own cause. Not sure exactly how that helps us directly, but that's one thing we can do. You can see here the date is changing. We are getting closer and closer to the next celebration of the working class. Let's take a look here. 15 watching, man. Hello, guys. Lion, build the wall, build the wall, build the wall. Exactly. In this game, we're, we're going to keep that wall up. Let's see where this goes. Is this Stalinism communism or post-Stalinism communism? Well, it's post-Stalinism communism because post we're in the uh, the late 80s. But, um, you know, we've got reformers. We've got conservatives. The It's really interesting. Th this game really goes deep into communism. So there's actually... And this is going to sound weird to a lot of people, but there is a right and left in communism. So the right would basically be those that support Stalin and the Soviet Union or Stalinistic policies, let's say. Uh, the left would be like reformers, guys that want to become more democratic, um, guys that want to give the people more power. Right now, if we look at our politics, we are left conservatives. So um, we're, we're a little more open than the Soviet Union. But I mean, if you guys have heard stories of the Stasi in, in East Germany. We are not nice by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I am going to try to build some more. Our economy is growing, so why not build some beautiful structures? Lenin Square. This will actually add support from the people, which is falling a little bit, so let's get that. But it is going to deduct 2.5 from the budget. Um, this is even better. TV Center, I think that's much better. It's going to give us support of the people and deduct only 0.2 from the budget. And I also want to see if we can go ahead and build a farm, perhaps. So industry would definitely increase things, but I'm not sure if we have enough money to build it. So I'm going to wait right now. Just keep on going. Let that economy build slightly. 1.1 1 .1, um, per turn. Well, I think it's per month or per week, perhaps. You know, everything in the Soviet Union is done on a quarterly basis. Okay, here we go. Grossenhain. Today, the administration received a letter from Till Lindemann and Richard Kruis with a request for support. They are going to create their own rock band, but significantly different from those existing in the country, and we wouldn't be behind the global fashion. Perhaps they will have a good future. But according to available data, Lindemann was once interrogated by the Stasi due to an incident during a trip to Rome. Moreover, the test texts that they sent are somewhat radical, and the general theme is not very suitable for a peaceful and calm country. Let's just deny support. We're not going to finance, and we're not going to start a campaign against music. We just ignored the letter. Uh, basically, very centrist uh, position. Ah, see, I, so this is why you got to kind of go slow in this game, because I, I wasn't able to respond to the issues in Vietnam, which kind of is annoying. Yes, yes, the background music. I'm hoping that we get past, that YouTube allows us to do this. I mean, this is old music, old Soviet music. I think it's uh, copyright free, but we'll find out. Hey, Tere, how you doing, buddy? And guys, as you can see, Tere has the sponsor button there. Um, he is a sponsor of the channel. Any of you guys can become sponsors of the channel, even for a dollar a month, two dollars a month, whatever. Um, and you get that cool sponsor button. I'm not, I'm not sure what the benefits are, but uh, you definitely get my respect. Ignoring punk rockers, how sad. Hey, you know, we have to keep things uh, stable. I'm trying to basically stay in line with sort of the uh, the conservative socialists. So I'm basically kissing the USSR's ass, etc., cetera, uh, and just trying to, you know, keep things going. So support of the people is dropping. It's not dropping radically, and the unity of the party is great. Um, support from the USSR is dropping pretty quickly. So we want to go ahead and support conservatives in the USSR. That could bring us a little bit closer. We could also give them a loan. They always need money, as you can imagine. Um, so we just gave them a loan there, and I'm hoping that's going to increase our approval. It only increased it by 0.1. So the Soviets don't like our course of action. We might be going a little too democratic. Uh, we also should go into science, start researching re-equipment of these special services for the benefit of the state. Yeah, the, the game has an amazing soundtrack. It's got, mu it's got music from the DDR. It's got music from the Bulgarian Socialist Republic um, and from Ceausescu's Romanian um, Republic. And right now, currently in the game, those are the only, con those are the only countries you can take. Um, and uh, it's really interesting stuff because those countries, um, 
they basically said in the in the description to the game that if they get if they sell I think it's like a thousand copies they'll add another one if they sell like five thousand copies they'll add another one so they're really trying to see if the community will support the game um, but yeah this game is very very deep into uh, into communism and the specifics of communism that even me you know I've read Marx I thought I was pretty familiar uh, with with a lot of communism but man it really goes deep I mean there are so many different uh, factions if you play as Ceausescu you have just one party um, if you play as the Soviets obviously you have just one party but here in the DDR we actually have a number of parties the, the problem is um, we're allied with every single one of them and they're all basically um, communist parties they're just different sort of spectrums of communism. I'm going to go ahead and update in May and November our speech to the people. Our esteemed comrade Honecker has already received several preparations for his speech and is ready to choose what he wants to say. Um, so we could, uh, you know, be critical of the Soviet Union. We could be start talking about maybe opening the wall. That's never, never going to happen. Um, and I think I am going to talk about the centuries-old friendship with the Soviet people because they don't really like us very much right now. The regular and ordinary, as it seemed to the common people, speech of our glorious leader turned out to be warm statements about the long-standing friendship with the Soviet Union and about the requirements of time to preserve and multiply our ties with Moscow. Gorbachev approvingly responded to these warm words. However, Moscow is implementing reforms. And our approving views of Gorbachev only pour more oil onto the fire. No! That means they, they're going to hate us even more? No. They, they, we actually jumped up to 100, but now it's going to fall pretty quickly. So that's interesting. Gorbachev is getting older there. Let's go to our economy. Um, support of the people definitely dropping. Westalgia is growing very fast. So we need to stop that. And I'm trying to see what can drop Westalgia. So special services headquarters, but it's minus five from the budget. I think I'd rather build some industry. And this is the hilarious thing. Um, if we get to a point where we are under budget, like we start losing money, we go, we go into negatives, um, we actually have to privatize some of our buildings. No, stop. Here we go. Events in Tiananmen Square. So now we can respond to the horrific massacre in Tiananmen Square here. And I think we want to try and be you know, do nothing and wait for a reaction of the USSR. We are once again the lapdogs of the USSR in this one. Um, so in our case, no changes have been made. We basically just, whatever the Soviets say, we, we support that. Good thing here is our party unity is very high, and especially if you're playing with like the DDR. Um, this doesn't happen so much with uh, Romania, but if you're playing with the German um, Democratic Republic, then what actually can happen is your own party can kick you out of power. So we don't want that to happen. Right now, they love Honecker. And I've actually played DDR games where like I've gone through three or four different chairmen. Helmut Kohl's Discovery. Chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR, Mikhail Gorbachev, and Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany, Helmut Kohl, signed in Bonn a document declaring the right of the Eastern European states to decide what political system will be determining one in their countries will be the determining one in their countries. There we go. Uh, at the moment, we cannot do much, but in the future, all this will lead to great problems in the socialist camp. Yeah, I can see that. So let's move. Um, let's say Big Brother Knows Best would be we totally support the USSR. Um, in this case, maybe we can lower Westalgia, uh, yeah, Westalgia by uh, actually possibly doing some reforms. At the meeting of the leadership of the Warsaw Treaty Organization in Bucharest, within the framework of the political consultative committee of the countries for the Council of Mutual Economic Assistance, the USSR officially proclaimed freedom of choice. As indicated in the final document, the relations between the countries will henceforth be developed on the basis of equality, independence, and the right of each individual country to independently develop its political course. Honecker returned from the meeting in deep thoughtfulness. Soon, some changes in the apparatus of the Central Committee took place, and although they, though they were very limited, the first step was made. So we are moving a little bit to the West in the sense of, you know, trying to democratize. And we didn't actually help the Ch Japanese communists here. I never do because it's actually quite expensive to help them. Um, there's actually footage on YouTube. It's pretty graphic of the chairman of the Japanese Communist League uh, being assassinated on stage by a katana, with a katana, um, by a, a radical uh, nationalist. Pretty crazy stuff. Just basically stabbed the guy. Oh, we've got a lot happening. The government of the Hungarian People's Republic opened a checkpoint on the border of Aus with Austria near Sopron and continues to open others, wishing, it seems, to fully open the border. 
Austria, although neutral, but from it, you can go to the countries of the West. You can tell that this game is made by Russians. It's not. There's definitely some uh, some strange uh, phrasing, and the same was true with their other game, uh, Crisis in the Kremlin, including in the FRG, where through Hungary and Austria have already start started perhaps to leave our citizens. <coughs> Excuse me. Will we try to prevent this, uh, risking uh, causing discontent among the population, or let everyone freely leave the country? No way. Um, we close the bo borders to Hungary. It's that simple. You don't leave. It's just you, We're just not allowing it. Okay, we heard the death about the death of uh, Ayatollah Khomeini. Um, we're not going to send our sorrow. And the thing is, um, if we did, Iraq would actually start to hate us, and we could have some problems there. New Cambodia. So we don't want to support the Khmer Rouge. Um, we want to support the Vietnamese communists here. So we're going to insist on keeping Vietnamese troops. We're going to make sort of a, um, you know, our own personal choice here. Part of Vietnam's troops will remain in its territory and region with increased Khmerist activity to protect Cambodia, but only for three years. Nice. And they've already uh, begun moderate reforms in relation to freedom of speech and the introduction of market, ele market elements into their economy. The market elements are what really scare me. Okay, crisis in the Polish People's Republic. So Lech Walesa, a very awesome guy. Um, he actually managed to bring basically democracy to Poland, uh, managing holi holding um, elections. So we are going to say we don't intervene in Polish affairs. It's just that simple. Um, I'm also going to jump into our economy and try and keep building that up. We need money. Money, money, money. We also need something to lower nostalgia, but not without spending a lot of money. So yeah, industry is the way to go. Once again, although it is increasing nostalgia, which is pushing our people towards wanting to leave. Oh. The press attaché of the USSR Foreign Ministry, Gennady Gerasimov, said that the Soviet Union does not intend to interfere more in the internal affairs of the other countries. This means abandoning the Brezhnev Doctrine, which implied the preservation of Soviet influence. We absolutely want Soviet influence because we are basically, you know, the lapdogs of the Soviets in this Let's Play. You can play the Let's Play however you want. You could be totally independent. You could be a reformer. But in this particular one, we are definitely trying uh, to continue. Uh, we condemn the Soviet statement, noting the contribution of the Brezhnev doctrine to the preservation of peace, stability, and democracy. Um, so Poland refused. Czechs have agreed. Cool. So we actually kept it. Um, let's take a look. End of the Hungarian People's Republic. Wow. The Marxist-Leninist wing led by the nominal ruler of the country and the party leader Karol Grosch were, in fact, in the mini minority. Grosch de facto had lost his real power before, having formed a presidium where the majority was against the old course. Worse, the Social Democrats who prevailed at the Congress decided to create the so-called Hungarian Socialist Party. Wow. Okay. Um, support the Marxists and Karol Grosch. We have to. Our support led to an early restoration of the HSWP, but as an opposition force, which thanks to a new flow of finances and assistance from the secret cells of our special service, launched a campaign to actively criticize the neoliberal reforms in the country. Power, of course, will not return to them, but the crisis from the fall of socialism will not be so strong in retaliation to the rest of the socialist camp. Okay, interesting. Honecker was forced to interrupt his participation in the meeting on the evening, and he has taken to the Romanian government clinic with biliary colic. Wow. After, I guess that's some sort of uh, illness. And by the way, let me take a look here while you guys read this. Very cool. Oh, thank you so much, Dave. Dave put up the membership, the, member, the benefits, try again, for sponsorship. Thanks, man. I think this is one of my favorite uh, song, uh, songs. Uh, let's go ahead. S stability. Call the Politburo and support Honecker so that he does not fall. Within a few days, Honecker returned to Berlin. Subsequently, Honecker did not fulfill his duties for several months. He was replaced by the Politburo. Wow. So uh, the Soviets replaced him. Um, 
let's see who is replacing Honecker. It's going to be... No, he's still there. He's still there. Stolfen Hager. Oh, Hager, I think, might be new. No, he's still the same guy. So, so far, they have not replaced him. Maybe they will eventually. Oh, there we go. Automation. Yes. So, Honecker can talk about automation. We absolutely want to do this. Direct efforts towards surveillance and prosecution and not the development of the economy. Remember, we're trying to keep the old uh, DDR. So, we want to make sure to keep all the baddies out. Let's put it that way. Although, the support of people is dropping, and it's dropping quick. Um, so, we do need to start doing something about that. Disservice. Poland declared uh, that opens its borders. Okay. Including for the reception of refugees from the GDR and their transit to the West. And this despite the fact that Poland and its population themselves are experiencing hard times because of the reforms of shock therapy. Maybe it's worth using. Um, so th this is all about, you know, allowing people to go to Poland. Once again, we close the borders. We're not allowing it. And yeah, it's going to piss people off. But we've got to keep a firm hand. Uh, we've also got to build some statues or something because right now the people are pissed. Monday demonstration. So look at this, guys. Series of mass protests. Um, we've got to move forward. We could send the army. Yeah, we're going to send the army with water cannons. Thinking about attempts to improve people's lives. <laughs> the demonstration caused a reaction from the authorities. More than 50 people were arrested. The attempt to organize a new one on the central square of Leipzig was stopped by an army with water cannons, dispersing the approaching huge crowd. As you can see, these arrests, like, this is really neat. Because remember, our, our support of the people was dropping significantly. And now, since we've arrested the troublemakers, this is what it's like in these very, very scary countries, uh, these, you know, Soviet countries. Um, at this point, you know, we've taken the opposition into jail. So... Our support has actually gone from 50 to 70. So that actually worked out great for us. Uh, our unity in the party is great. Everything's going pretty well. The only thing that's not going well is there's a lot of nostalgia. And obviously the people are losing support um, little by little. But each day that passes is one day closer to uh, breaking a world record. Gunter Mittag played a serious role in shaping the foreign policy of the GDR. As party leader of the economy, Mitag closely interacted with Alexander Shelk Goldovsky, was dedicated to covert monetary and finance operations, oversaw the unspoken economic contacts with FRG, played an important role in the negotiations for obtaining German loans. Uh, Mitag's connection with Western financiers and politicians arousing dissatisfaction with the orth... Blah, blah, blah. My goodness, man. Um, hmm. So... I actually saw a movie about this, Build a uh, Birdcage for Private Traders. It was about the Finns that were moved to East Karelia in the Soviet Union. And they basically built this, like, fake town with, like, an opera house, a casino, to make them think that, like, the Soviet Union was great. But then, um, you know, as soon as they got um, all the work they needed out of them, um, they basically took them all to prison camps. Pretty, pretty crazy. There we go, though. We're still getting support from the people. So we're actually doing pretty well, all things considered. Operation Valkyrie. So this is all about um, recognizing the attempt to kill Hitler 45 years ago. Of course, we will not praise the Nazis. I, Yeah, why would that even be an, an option? And there were two we will not praise the Nazis options. Let's take a look here at the viewers. The viewers. At least Agrippa is having fun with it. Sorry, what's going on? The other game in the same studio named Christ in the Gremlin uh, had an awesome premise, but consequences of your actions were very random. Yeah, I think um, I think this game is like what Crisis in the Kremlin should be, but of course it's still plagued by that. It still has that issue. It's kind of a, it's frustrating, but it is what it is. Make sure to properly brief the border guards if you're going to ease up on transit rules. <laughs> Exactly, man. We're, we're, uh, we're basically playing Papers, Please, the much larger version. All right, continuing. I mean, the one that separates this one from that, at least, is like the direct control of the economy is a lot better. Um, parade for the 40th anniversary of the GDR, of course. 
Um, and we will invite Gorbachev. Party unity is actually lowered a little bit because of that, but not much, 5%. It's uh, probably the, the reformers that are a little upset. Or I should actually say the old conservatives, because Gorbachev was a bit of a reformer. Okay, the Czechoslovak bypass, the discontent of the people, the growing West Algian desire to find a better standard of living in the West led to the fact that many of our citizens leave the country in an open transit through CSSR. CSSR stated that it was almost unable to cope with the flow of refugees from the GDR and could no longer restrain them. Ooh, close the borders. Actually, we'll allow paid departure because we do need to improve the economy. And this also buys people or buys our government a little bit of time because we are allowing a route out. Uh, but they still have to escape the CCR after that. So that's not exactly easy either. Economy. We could improve the city for four. Yep, let's do that. And now we'll start building some upgrades. Let's get Lenin Square. Um, actually, that'll just increase support of the people. We want to do something that will lower Westalgia. Nice. An army base. Very expensive, though. Far frontiers. Our citizens go to Bulgaria and Romania massively. Someone just leaves the unloved country, and someone tries to go to Western countries through them. Okay. Hmm. Close borders. We're not allowing that. Okay, here I think we have to... Oh, the Greek problem's over now. India, in the parliamentary elections in India, the ruling party, the Indian National Congress, INC, uh, headed by Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, this is uh, uh, Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi's son, lost its majority in parliament. On December 2, a new multi-party government was sworn in by VP Singh. The new government aims at liberalizing the economy and neutral balanced for, uh, foreign policy as opposed to the socially oriented policy and pro-Soviet orientation of the INC. We definitely want to send money to the INC. Um, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to take one out of our economy, but we need to support um, this left-wing um, organization. Soon there will be parliamentary elections in Greece. Now the PASOK party, the Panhellenic Socialist Movement, led by Andreas Papandreou, is in power with the left social democracy partitions um, and promoting friendship with the USSR. Help the ruling party. Yes, of course. So we're trying to keep all the other communist nations afloat as well, or at least like some are not communist. Like for instance, Greece is actually a NATO member, uh, but they're very like pro left. They're very left leaning um, in this particular situation. So we can consider them kind of friends. They're still willing to trade with us, um, unlike a lot of the other uh, countries. Oh boy, people are demanding reforms. So now we actually have to put someone else in power. I've put Gregor Gysi in power before. Um, he's a reformer. Um, and it's really improved the relations with the people. But I'm going to keep Honecker in power this time. Uh, so despite all attempts by Krems, it was not possible to reach an agreement. And of course, that's going to lower a look at that. Now the support of the people and Westalgia is growing dramatically, uh, or, or the lack of support, I should say. Um, so we might need to get rid of Honecker uh, just to stop the enemy. The end of the Stasi? So we're trying to see um, the people are destroying the secret police, or we could try to stop them from destroying the uh, the Stasi. I'm going to send the water cannons. We will not allow the Stasi to end. And look at that. Our support went up a little bit. <laughs> Once again, because we're arresting all the dissidents. Westalgia is growing greatly, um, and there's very little we can do about it. Also, the party unity, which is very important. That's dropping big time. We're in a thaw. Let's hold another speech. All right, on bureaucracy and dogmatism. So our approval from the USSR is dropping dramatically. We'll take a look here. But yeah, we're getting to the point. Like, this game is all about basically survival. That economy is probably still using K T-34s and KV-1s. <laughs> yes, definitely. And thank you, Tiberius. Tiberius actually bought me the original game... Um, which is called uh, Crisis in the Kremlin. Thank you, Tiberius. And this is their second game, of course. Uh, I, I think this one is much better. Ostalgy, um, just just fun, you know, enjoyable. And uh, the one thing I don't like is I haven't seen a point system in this one. At least in Crisis in the Kremlin, you can kind of see like how badly or how well you were doing. 
Uh, not in this one. It's just not an option. Yeah, we are having mass protests, people's riots. Create an international stir. Try to get media away from us. Economic assistance there. We're going to try and save it, but it's going to be very hard. Um, we need support from the people. So I'll build a Lenin statue. That's not going to save us, though, from downfall. 1990, though. We've made it pretty far, man. Okay, gold of the party. The party has raised the idea of the possibility of withdrawing SED money abroad. We will withdraw money from the USSR. Yes. Oh, this did not work out well. So it's a scandal that we couldn't sweep under the rug. And we actually lost money in the process. Yeah, I think we're about to go be, be taken out, even maybe by our own party members right now, because the party unity is uh, crazy. We want order and not guardianship. We want freedom and confidence for responsible people. We want to be protected from violence. But we should not tolerate dictatorship and espionage. All right. So form the committee in pub uh, on publicity and debureaucratization. De 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 wow. But call to not hurry. And slow down methods, uh, d down reforms using any methods. Um, let's go ahead and let them go for real reforms. Maybe this can save us. And it kind of did. Got our support of the people up to 556 um, but of course, that's just a matter of time. The unity of the party is breaking down dramatically. Uh, but we did buy some time with the people and with the Soviets. We're going to support Zhivkov. Zhivkov. And there we go. It's a party coup. So as you can see, um, harsh accusations against Honecker. And we actually managed... Um, we actually got some of our guys got in prison, which is fascinating. Um, but we, we made it pretty far. And we were using Honecker. You can choose any number of different leaders. You know, there's like reformers that you could choose, etc. We basically stuck with the old guard the entire time. And we made it pretty far. Um, we could have done a lot more to, to do better, of course. I'm just going to show those of you that are here now. The countries that are playable right now are the DDR, uh, Romania, and Bulgaria. You cannot play as Yugoslavia. I wish you could. You cannot play as uh, Hungary. Um, what basically the devs have said is like for, I think it's like 5,000 purchases, they're going to add Albania, uh, 10,000, they're going to add Yugoslavia, et cetera, et cetera. So really cool stuff, man. I, I highly recommend the game. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, like um, as someone was mentioning earlier, it does have its issues. Um, the poor English for one. I kind of try to pass that off as just like part of the part of the game's, um, how can I put this, like uh, flavor, if that makes sense. Um, maybe it's done on purpose. I don't think it is. And uh, there's a few other issues like the random, the randomization. But this one is much better in terms of like telling you exactly what your policies are going to do and uh, helps you out. I think the exposition is very, it, it, it's huge. Maybe a little bit too much, a little bit too long on terms of the exposition. Um, but at the same time, it's very informative and very cool. So I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the stream now. I do want to thank everybody for stopping by. And, of course, our sponsor, uh, the awesome Terje. Um, he has, uh, of course, sponsored us. That's why he's got that cool sponsor sticker next to his name. Maybe one day you guys can get your own sponsor sticker. It's not too hard. I think you just go into the sponsor section. It's like a dollar, something like that. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this Let's Play, or I should say this this stream. And uh, I hope you guys will go out and uh, pick up the game. It's definitely worth it. Take care and have a glorious, glorious day. Don't worry, Gabriel. You can uh, you can watch the replay. It's going to be uploaded to the channel. <laughs> that is true. Most people do have horrible English anyway. But here it's it's hard to uh, hard to accept. No problem, guys. And uh, obviously, make sure to hit the like button on this video. Uh, make sure to share it if you can, uh, especially if you guys want to see more videos on this particular game. 
Um, I would like to do like not only different countries, but also different kinds of communism. Like maybe we could do like a reformer let's play. We could do a conservative let's play, an old guard let's play. I think we there's so many different avenues uh, we could play with this game. So if you guys liked it, make sure to smash that like button. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry for the short stream today, but we're getting close to Easter and I'm actually uh, getting ready to do some stuff with my family. So uh, I will see you soon.